Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajua and I'm here with C Chronicles and I had a, a subscriber requesting that I do a Father's Day recommendation so we put our things together. We have mm -hmm. 10 fragrances, 5 from each of us mm -hmm. that we want to recommend for the upcoming Father's Day. These fragrances are diverse enough for people who have different noses, who are yes. looking for different things. It doesn't have to be the same thing so we just want to give you variety when it comes to men's fragrances. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start with the first one here and it's going to be a recent one from paris corner mm -hmm. and this is autobiography citron vanille that i have been praising on my channel for mm. some time and um she has a bottle actually mm. this hair bottle um that she recently received mm -hmm. to me it's a great father's day recommendation because it's going to give you that quintessential men's dna without being ultra ultra masculine yes. because of that citrusy nuance it has in it mm -hmm. to me although it doesn't have the notes of orange i guess something quite orangey it is you know orange zesty yeah. yes it lists i think lemon mm -hmm. or lime you mm -hmm. know but i get more of an orangey nuance mm -hmm. with that vetiver you know it has this earthy vetiver and i think that is what gives it the masculine touch you yes. know but even Forgetting a, forget about the fact that it's it's been marketed towards men. I think it's a, a it's good unisex scent, yes, you know. Yes. yes, but for the purposes of Father's Day, I will highly recommend Citron Vanille. If you love vanilla, citruses, mm -hmm. vetiver, mm -hmm. you are going to absolutely love this one. And it's also a very versatile one that you can use for work as yes. well as, you know, for... um every day every day way. even on date night yes, i think yes. it will suffice so citron vanille by paris corner absolutely yes absolutely okay okay so let me also start with a citrusy toned fragrance you know just so that if you were here for the citruses you know that at least we have done two already all right so this one emir is a fragrance that uh was dropped on the market and a lot of people thought it was going to be in line with the Tiziana Terenzis, considering that it was in a box that yeah. looked like the Tiziana Terenzis. And the box is quite, you know, very interesting there yes. with the lights yeah. and all. Uh, but this juice is actually a very uh, citrusy as well. I'm going to say fresh, citrusy, clean type of fragrance. Um, aquatic, even masculine toned. Uh, but though it's masculine toned, if you are the you know a woman who likes kind of cologne type of fragrances, you can wear it off. But this, I would say, is appropriate or best uh for the men out there. Although it can be worn by women, you know, we wear what we want to wear. But this, I find, is a nice, fresh, manly scent with the depth there. Uh, so you can see that it was not only the packaging; it's also the juice that it contains uh, that made this fragrance. You know that may maybe like Tafa put this much work on this fragrance so this is definitely a recommendation for that uh father if you want to gift a father that of course likes nice things yes. because it's nice the presentation the is going to be nice uh it's also befitting in the sense that it does come you know as a gift looking like a gift you know there's some fragrances that will come just plain and yeah. this is not the criteria we're using but i'm just giving a plus uh, to why I selected this fragrance. That one is going to be easy on the nose, very relatable, fresh, colony, uh, something that a lot of men wouldn't mind smelling like. And I thought to add it on this lineup as a re recommendation, guys. So if you haven't checked up this, checked out this one, you should. Emir uh, from uh, Latafa, yes. I think will make a perfect gift. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that is very nice. Okay, so the next one I have here is going to be from the Niche Emirati line and it's um, Atik. Mm -hmm. This has been compared to Lee Gray, yes. Gray Chanel, yes. the same, almost the same thing. So even if, if you don't have the price, the, the money for this, because this one is quite on the pricey side, you can mm -hmm. go for Liam Gray because they're going to serve you the same yes. purpose. I find it's very calming, yes. very balsamic with that black tea, that mm -hmm. spa like you know, vibe. Mm -hmm. This is for the man who is like a bit reserved, doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't want to do too much, mm -hmm. you know, because it's quite close to the skin. Mm -hmm. It is not like too much out there. I find it's very beautiful like slightly smooth. sensual smooth yes. you know smooth it doesn't really announce your presence but it's you know gives you that you know um it it, it gives you that presence you want without doing too much you exactly. know so for that gentleman which who is quite reserved and doesn't mm -hmm. want to do too much i think a tick by latafa or even liam gray you know whereas this one is on the more 
expensive side mm -hmm. liam grace on the more affordable you know side, you came so. with the testers it was one of the ones i compared this morning with the, chanel the green chanel and this are very very close yes. so i think there was an extra work that they put in the niche emirati just yeah. to make sure that they are at par i compared them side by side i couldn't tell them apart yes. so yes liam gray is going to do it but will probably be lacking a little bit there in the lasting power say yes. for instance yes. this one will do 24 hours that one might do 12 but both of them are good options and i can very see good yeah, options. yeah 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 there's a great choice for father's day yes mm -hmm. okay um my other one is going to be on the crowd pleasing side okay this is infinite absolute by the house of cadlash and i am putting respect on the house of cadlash now more so that ajwa did uh source that empire victor for for me and i can see the quality that it's not yeah. coincidental i think the company in itself is dedicated to good quality yes. fragrances i feel first of all this is underrated i feel uh the packaging of this may confuse a lot of people yes this has that quintessential creed of Vences dna and it is a dna that uh we may call washed up but there's a reason why it's popular you know the creed aventus dna is almost like the la via bell dna yes. where it's a no-brainer <laughs> you will know yeah. that people are now slagging it maybe because is you know everybody has worn it so there is that there isn't that element of surprise anymore but i chose this particular one because this is a twist if you know of a father that maybe likes the creed aventus dna or that man who loves their fragrances spicy uh with a little bit of a middle eastern twist uh with a little bit of a familiarity that you get from creed aventus which is the reason why it was very very popular so first of all that dna is not going to let you down now imagine it amped up so i picked up this one guys for anybody who would like to purchase uh it as a gift to that father who's maybe a working father somebody who yeah. cleans up real nice because it smells very very nice actually smells very nicer than the bottle looks and the bottle i ha i don't have a problem it looks very ultra masculine but the juice you know is even better better smelling than at the presentation itself so infinite absolute by cadlash guys get your nose on this it's also unisex to my nose because yes. i'm accustomed to a lot of uh, fragrances yeah. but it is i would say 90 percent feminine uh 90 percent masculine. masculine that's why i chose it for you know as an option as my option number two uh, in suggestion to you infinite absolute from cadlash okay so the next one of my third option is going to be massa from the pride collection and this i chose for the man who wants to come across as a bit you know um gomon smelling because of the mango nuance mm -hmm. but it's not going to give you the typical gomon because it has that metallic yes. leathery you know um a slightly plasticky nuance to it but there is also an elegance about it you know it's quite complex mm -hmm. you, you need to really appreciate quite complicated fragrances it, it doesn't come across as ultra simple mm -hmm. this one feels much more like the man who wants to dress up more mm -hmm. you know like suit and tie mm -hmm. um the one who takes fashion more seriously yes. something like that you know if you if you're into fashion you know mm -hmm. you're into that sort of avant-garde sort of things like when it comes to yeah you, you pay attention to details with your dressing your your cologne massa is going to do it for you i love the fact that you get that mango nuance mm -hmm. as well as that blend of that guy made typical masculine dna mm -hmm. you know so it's a very good one for that man who wants to really stand out so massa is going to be the third option here for me from me <laughs> mm -hmm. okay um the next fragrance or the third one or yeah. my part is going to be zanzibar by latafa uh first of all this i thought say for instance you're gifting a man who's used to a lot of fragrances and you just wanted to know what this fragrance vibes like it's one of the new ones from Latafa. i think yeah. it's about maybe four months old or somewhere thereabout or at least i got it two months ago that's what i can talk about uh so it's a 2024 composition for sure but this fragrance guys if you were just wondering uh whether it's worth gifting i would say yes it's worth gifting yeah. but make sure you're gifting it to somebody who loves those marine notes salty notes aquatic and yeah. uh, not even really a uh, hundred percent aquatic Aquatic, but it is an interpretation of Zanzibar in a bottle. Just yes. imagine the seaside. That's what you get here. Coconut water. So it doesn't turn like, uh, you know, like Santani coconutty. Mm -hmm. No, it's like the coconut water. If you can imagine that coconut water, water accord after water accord. And then you have that marine salty note, something that a lot of gentlemen like out there. Uh, I wouldn't really say tropical, but semi. Okay, semi tropical. This is a great fragrance. This is going to be 
easy reach for a lot uh, of men uh, uh, without necessarily it being stereotyped as one of those hundreds and hundreds of other you know freshies on the market yeah. it's it's just different it's a different unique one so i thought to recommend it guys in case you've been giving it a side eye and thinking is it really worth it i think it is i think when it comes to this one it might be tricky gifting a woman a yes. man not a problem so this would be a quintessential ideal uh, gift mm -hmm. to consider for a man uh latafa asad zanzibar yes i like that one too mm. yes i do okay so my next recommendation is going to be a bottle i don't have here but i i have it in my collection that is going to be latafa's nasheti which has been you know linked to nisha lace annie and oh, I to me have it for you there uh oh okay thank you <laughs> thank you okay so thank you no, it's okay. so we have nasheti here mm -hmm. to me this is one of the most versatile fragrances I like the citrusy ginger, you know, bright part because it's it's quite fresh, you yes. know, and effervescent. Whereas that vanilla, although vanilla is not listed, mm -hmm. I still get that, you know, dry down vanilla, you know, um, nuance mm -hmm. gives it a more sultry, sexy, you know, nuance. So mm -hmm. you can you can take you from the boardroom to the bedroom, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of vibes. Mm. Very versatile very affordable mm -hmm. it's been on the market for a long time for a so long time and it's still available it's still mm -hmm. available you know and it's it's very versatile so if you're looking for something to gift or to use for yourself if you're hanging out with the guys if you are going on a date i highly recommend that shetty it is mm -hmm. one that is going to give you some compliments you know it's um a compliment mag magnet mm -hmm. it is also sweet you know sweet refreshing fresh um ginger mm -hmm. spicy like everything that you can think of mm -hmm. you know it, it doesn't come across as ultra ultra masculine you know it has a dna that is liked by both men and women yes. so i would highly recommend this don't underestimate the fact that it's been on the market for a long mm -hmm. time some of the oldies are one. still mm -hmm. good so nashaiti i would highly recommend yeah absolutely yeah right the next one is a fragrance from the house of our tanya now if you cannot get uh, the our tanyas this is a dna that is you know you can find in so many houses it has been cloned a gazillion times this is a clone as well of tobacco vanilla by tom yeah. ford so the tobacco vanilla dna guys is one uh, that i feel any man's man i yes. should have in their collection right so this particular one from our tanya is called a uh, bouquet vanilla so if you cannot get the bouquet vanilla don't worry if you look at the maison alhambra i think they have their own rendition of the tobacco vanilla yes. if you look at uh Charu you know fragrance well Charu Charu exactly yeah. so i'm just giving it here as an idea that if you know of a man's man you know that sort of man who's uh who throws their weight around the <laughs> ultimate i'll change the tire the oh okay what's wrong with the car I'll fix it the one who's yeah. on the you know the alpha male, the alpha male yeah. even the biker that sort of thing this will not let any men down it's tobacco it's got spices um i think it's a cinnamon it's got star anise something here that feels like a concoction of uh, some people call it a little bit cough syrupy some people say it's kind of like a uh, licorice -y. so yeah. it's yeah. a very nice rich concentrated fragrance that's easy for any man to like but most especially that man who you know like who who throws their weight around the the, yeah. the alpha male like uh like she said because with some uh some of these dnas they are so bold this is a bold dna that i would i would recommend definitely buying it for that man who either is very well versed with a lot of fragrances or just likes the fragrances that are actually ultra ultra masculine so this is one uh that i thought to drop here options are available from other houses this particular one is from our tanya and is called bouquet vanilla inspired by tom ford's tobacco vanilla I actually love that Saints profile on men. Mm. It's, it's so sexy it's, on men. It is. So very, very. Yes. Okay, so my last recommendation is going to be from Junaid, the house Junaid. And this fragrance is Attic. I will just place it on the screen. If you are a man and you love the likes of Casablanca, you know, that's piercing sweet gourmand wow. apple you know mm. sharp sort of fragrances. Mm -hmm. It is like a gourmand for men. Wow. To me, there, is, there isn't much... To, I think Casablanca is like for the women, whilst the attic is for men, mm -hmm. you know, the his and hers version. Mm -hmm. Both fragrances are phenomenal, mm -hmm. but the attic will give you that masculine cedar touch that a man would want. Mm -hmm. Maybe Casablanca might be too feminine leaning mm -hmm. for you, but when it comes to attic by Junaid, you are getting the Casablanca vibes, which already is a unisex fragrance, yes. you know, but Casablanca made much more 
masculine you know mm -hmm. with that cedar undertone very mm -hmm. beautiful more masculine leaning it gives you that you know it's for that party that party guy mm. you know that young party person mm -hmm. who wants to um approach you know a lot of women mm -hmm. that kind of playboy feel yeah. you know it's for that kind of person you know that showman that um showboy it's a very beautiful one sweet piercing mm -hmm. it falls up a room for when you want to start a party you want to start a conversation i would highly recommend attic by Jolade. Wow. Yes. That's a nice one. I wish to smell it. I oh, wish to, yeah. I should have. I should have brought it. Well, you could only <laughs> do so much. Well. Uh, okay. My last recommendation, and not limited to, these are just the ones that we thought to do 5-5, five, five, okay? This is from Latafa. I thought to give, uh, you know, the limelight to this one because, first of all, not a lot of people talk about it. And secondly, there is a question that I often get uh, from men. Uh, if you know of a man or you want to gift somebody your significant other, they like fruity fragrances but they like their fruity fragrances to be masculine this is the best masculine fruity fragrance yeah. it's fruit without pushing it too girly yeah. it's fruit that remains masculine okay you're going to get something here that feels like berries like a rose like yeah. you know but it's concentrated and mixed with the spices to make sure that it keeps with the theme of a masculine fragrance so this is Rela uh, Latafa and uh, I believe it is it draws its inspiration from uh, Weiden Liwa a fragrance that's quite pricey so maybe that's the reason why this one doesn't make the rounds that much yeah. but it's one of the very first not very first but the the older Latafas. So like Ajwa said, don't dismiss the older ones. This one is actually on their, um, you know, on their little pamphlet, the one that you fold like this, not the books. Okay. So it's one of the very the old, old yeah. ones, but it is just unfortunately one that did not get a, get the limelight. And when I discovered that it was actually a weed and Liwa clone, I was like, oh, wow. And I smelled Liwa li li in Skins Cosmetics and the fragrance smells exactly like that. So this is a gorgeous fragrance. You could purchase this one for that yeah. man who likes their fragrance to be fruity nice. slightly sweet but keeping the masculine theme because when it comes to fragrances it can be borderline tricky to have fragrances that can be you know that are sweet fruity but staying masculine so this is for that type of man that says i want my fragrance with a touch of fruit touch of sweetness but i don't want it to hover around the feminine you know yeah. you know realm there so this is going to be a masculine a quintessential fruity masculine scent also very affordable and great recommendation for that that sort of men who loves fruity scents. Relat by Latafa is my number five. Okay, so I think that is going to be it for now. I hope this video is not coming in late. If you are you haven't got yourself anything these mm -hmm. are great recommendations. They are all quite different from each other. Mm -hmm. If you can pick more than one of these that is going to be amazing. So Absolutely, that yeah. is going to be it for today. And we hope this video found you well. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and we hope to see you in our next one. Take care. Bye bye for now.